Hello everybody on the YouTube side, welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, this time with all the mods I could find on the marketplace. It's also very hot, so forgive me if my commentary is a bit weird. All I've got is water and a temperature that a Scottish person cannot cope with. We are going to start a fresh game. We're going to be mostly just going over the mods we're using and customising our starting lineup in this short starting episode. Then we'll get into longer episodes because we're recording on stream. So there'll be like 40-50 minutes, we'll try and fit in like two missions per video usually, along with some like overworld stuff. So, new game. We'll just play on veteran. We don't want the tutorial, we do want to reduce beginner VO. I do want subtitles. Oh, what is all this? Greatly increase the HP of most units for longer tactical... Nah, that's too OP. Start at the Reaper HQ, start at the Skirmisher HQ, start at Templar. Ooh. Double the length of the Avatar project? No, because then we don't feel like we need to rush and I, I like having the pressure. Double the length of timers on mission... I don't need to do that because I've got a mod that helps fix that. Grenade damage, fault and... Nah, none of that's needed really. Hmm. So a quick overview of the mods because we'll see them in action so I don't need to go over all of them. Skin mods, voice pack mods, tons of voice pack mods. Tons of just skins done within the game to make them look like people. Also, thank you to Don Tombray for the first bits of the evening. Time to dunk some alien scum. As far as quality of life, shut up Bradford or whatever it's called now. I think it's called like Stop Wasting My Time. Uh, evac all, Overwatch all, Confirm Movement so you don't accidentally click wrongly, which is fantastic. Um, the new rules for rulers so that depending on the action you take, they have a, a percentage role on whether or not they get a free action. If you shoot at them, it's always 100%. But if it's something like shooting at a different alien, it's like a 50-50 chance, that kind of thing. Which makes them much fairer, in my opinion. Uh, what else? Extended turn timers. Um, advanced concealment, so timers don't start until you're actually revealed on a mission. Uh, bigger squad size upgrades that we can unlock. And I'm probably forgetting some, but we'll see as we go. Hell no, Iron Man no. Um, yeah, we can do War of the Chosen stuff, obviously. We can do... Yeah, we can integrate that. I don't like Shen's Last Gift or Valiant Hunters, but we can do them again, because why not? I need to tick them. No, they're ticked already. Mm. Alright. As far as, like, cutscenes go, do you want me to let them play Ooh. chat, or will I just, like, you know, skip them because we've seen them? But I don't know for how long. Thank you, Fun Games, at 300 for the bits, too. Way Time to miss all the shots. Let him play? Alright. That's no ordinary gene therapy. Shut up, Bradford. They were telling the truth. Where they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider. This is oh, also how's the volume of the cutscene? Go. In-game volume will probably be different, but I'm just curious if the cutscene is fine. I suppose if nothing else, the cutscenes give me a chance not to talk as much when they're talking. It's a little quiet. Cutscenes are probably a bit quiet, yeah. It's more important that the in-game stuff is louder, so let me know about that. Close about his crotch there. Is that Sean Bean? It wasn't our fault. Please. There's no need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? You're one of those. You must understand. I had no choice. Outrider. Report. He said death gurgle. So, you do exist. Hello, Counselor Troy. Nice to see you again. Outrider to Avenger. I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. 
They can't know we were here. Yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. So now we should just get the statue destroy mission, right? Because I skipped the tutorial. Excitement continues to build city yeah, it seems like it. Unification day. Celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. In keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. Thank God, we need to listen to the speaker. You brought this on yourselves, chat. Dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. The Advent administration reminds you to report all suspicious activity. Hello, oh, Arking. Is that what our soldiers will actually look like? Because they look normal. I don't do normal. Alright, so let me know if the volume is now louder. If it's still a bit too quiet, I'll up it everything. Because we'll hear Bradford again in a second. <laughs> okay, there's some pretty weird looking people here. I like that. We've got Santa Claus on our team, which is pretty awesome. Move to secure the target site and eliminate any hostile contacts in the area. Alright, so how was that volume? Still a bit quiet? Still quiet. Alright. So we've got like Black Widow, Santa Claus, Guile, and Tracer. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the Some pretty good to setup. We're in concealment. Right now to remember how to play this as well. Alright, so volume is still a bit low. Let's do something about that before anything else. One second. Let's up it by like that much. Alright, if it's still a bit too quiet, I'll up it in game. That was just me upping it in the task manager. Alright, so there we go. Let's spin the camera. Just remind myself about all sorts. Position confirmed. These guys make up the bulk of the advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but they're obedient. Thank you, Boy Trooper, for the sub via Twitch Prime. Welcome. And hello, Evil Vice President, too. You got here just in time. We just got started. Okay. But that might actually be Santa, incidentally, because one of the character pack, like, I found a character pack where people just use the in game armors and stuff to make characters that look like people. So, that, yeah, it is just Guile. 
my god, it is actually Gail and Santa Claus. And whoever the Baroness is. I don't know who that is. Is Baroness like, um, Starcraft, maybe? What is zoom in, or is there not a zoom in? Because that is just like up and down, not zoom in. Santa Claus, you better know how to shoot. That's all I'm saying. Hmm. Oh, it's Cobra Commander's hmm. right hand. You're absolutely correct. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. She's an evil lady. Ooh. She's an evil lady, but she's got spunk. On my way. Thank you, Don Tomberry, for the bits. Ho, ho, ho. Now I have a machine gun. Do you think if I, like, put Santa and Baroness on Overwatch, they'll actually land a shot when they scatter? Also, Santa Claus is German now. You can both see the same one, and you've got... No, that's a different one, actually. Mm, whoever Alicia Lombardi is. Alright, Gail's firing the first shot of this war. Let's see how it goes. 66%. <laughs> Start as you mean to go on, I suppose. Miss. Hit. Okay, that was a hit. Alright, you know, that wasn't bad. That was a 50% success rate. That's okay. He is going to get a shot on somebody, though. Not the one who isn't named. Can you get revenge? Can you just go up there and, like, shoot them in the face? If you miss at this range, you deserve to die. That is so good. If you're clicking a square that's out of cover, the game will, or the mod will say, Are you sure you want to do this? It's pretty stupid. Revenge! He did have the high ground, Anakin. You are correct. Who's that guy? Also, I've not had this starting mission before. It's always been the statue for me. Alright, Santa. You can do this. I mean, my plan is to name people after like subs and chat and that but I really don't want to rename Santa Claus because I love the idea of having Santa on my side on I've got the power of anime and Jesus on my side but also Santa Claus hello your in green no one around huh is this cover this is cover you don't have a medkit in the first mission, do you? I always end up losing one person on the first mission. The seem Even though there's only like two pods months. of enemies. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Might trigger Overwatch? No. 7054, what about a Because he's in full cover, right? At the same time, a 70% chance to hit. Oh, you're floating! You also missed a 70 whatever percent chance to hit. I'm very, very disappointed in you. You deserve to die. I'm not going to be able to get that look. Doesn't matter. Get ready for a surprise. If Santa dies, though, the army will be so demoralized that there's no hope. You just, you wouldn't be able to continue. Ooh, Santa. Santa, I believed in you. That's why I didn't move you first. Well, the commander died, but we'll lose that wounded soldier for sure. So we're going to not have one of the classes when we finish the mission. Or, oh yeah, or we might lose Santa. I, I predicted sadness and it's going to happen. Not Santa. Please not. Yeah, kill her. Alright, that's fine. As long as you don't kill Santa. That Advent Soldier was on the nice list. I like that cannon. It's good cannon. 52. I'll take the 52, thanks. You, you miss a 60 or 70 and you hit a 52. Never change. Verstanden. Rücke aus. Thank you, Protodroid MK13, for seven months in a row and a tier three subscription. And <laughs> no, what did you especially like the sort of looking like Tracer Lady? Don't worry, we still have German Santa. It's fine. He'll live. He won't live well. It's tradition. When I do the first mission, I always lose a rookie because they're all terrible. 
back before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Let's just do it with you. Living it's not worth a restart to save a rookie. It's very common to lose at least one because they're just absolutely garbage. Menace one five. Rendezvous at the extraction point. And you get a bunch of bonus soldiers anyway, so that gives us a chance to see more Squad weirdness. That poor sieve! There's a civvy right there. Hello, Hawks. And Meadow Magpie. I forgot about this garbage. Yeah, it's fine. I don't I, I don't want to. Yes. Even now, our enemy lurks in the shadows. Most of the Overwatch mods I did in XCOM 2 were not upscaled for War of the Chosen, so they're very limited. I think there's Tracer and Genji, and that's it. Hello, Shiro. No, the Garrus mod was not done for War of the Chosen, I think, because I didn't see it in the list. Or the version I had said it was incompatible, anyway. Alright, so the Baroness from G.I. Joe is a sniper. Our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. Squad sight. Guile. The ranger serves as a ranger. Primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies hmm. at close range. Also, my window's open again because it's very hot, so there might be a lot of background sound. It's just the folly of not being as rural as I once was. Alright, so Gao is urinating on the ship, and Santa is... That's <laughs> so perfect. The Grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need Ho, ho, ho. Bitch. Alright, Santa's a Grenadier. So that means, what What class did we not get? Our hacker and, and healer. Oh dear. Alright, so we have to talk to everybody. I really don't want to let these cutscenes play. <laughs> Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I thought Tigan was his first name. For the entirety of our research here. Skip the ones you want. As well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Alright, now people want to skip. Fine. Poor Tigan. Nobody wants to listen to you. Uh, three days, three days. Let's go for modular weapons. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. Hello, Shen. Goodbye, Shen. Now, what I'm more interested in Things are is. Fun, but I'm hoping we find a few more recruits who can handle a wrench. I could use the help. Are these the teams we have, or are these the people available? Master Raven? Oh, he's from Tekken. I see. I'm glad whoever did the modding actually put that kind of stuff in. Wait, Gearbox? Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? I can see the allure of the Advent Therapy Clinic. There we go. Under the knife and we have Leon Kennedy. We have Braveheart. Too bad we have Gordon Freeman. Get in. We, have, we have Mr. T. Alright, hang on. Let's start with... Alright, so we've got the Baroness. I'll keep her nickname, but I'll rename her someone else in a second. We obviously have Guile. We have Chris Kringle, Santa Claus. Um, Juliet Lollipop Starling. She's from that Chainsaw Zombie game, right? Yeah, that's basically Cart. Lollipop Chainsaw, that's the one, yeah. Leon Kennedy, eh, you're stretching with that one, I'm afraid. That looks nothing like him. Looks like a badly made Oblivion character. We'll customize this one heavily. Braveheart, I mean, you basically just put the Braveheart Mel Gibson hair and the skin. So we can probably also, he did not wear shorts. Or is that as close to a kilt as you could get, I suppose. We'll customize that one as well. Gordon Freeman, I mean, yeah, that's... Close, I guess. Considering he was limited to the in-game engine, or the in-game assets, rather. And then we have 
It's just a random, because I did like not just the character pool, but then also just random, so it's just a random guy. Machete. You may know from Machete. Oh, I was going to, Broforce, that's the game I was thinking of. Then we have, that's just another random. And that's Zarya. That's not a bad Zarya. Considering it's not modded or anything, you can just do that with the, the as it comes stuff. It's just it's Zarya before she got swole. That's all. Then, you know, Mister T, you kind of stretch him with that one as well. All right, so as I said, this inaugural part is just like customizing stuff. So the only customization I'm going to do to this lady for now is I promised Alana I would name a character, Alana Baroness Kitty. Moving on. Um, Guile, I'll think about Guile. Santa Claus, I'm not touching. Santa Claus, I'm fine with. Uh, we'll come back to you. This, this is not Leon Kennedy. This is definitely not. Also, let's start with, well, no, let's design how he looks first. So, what can we do from the many things I have selected? Well, we go to torsos, we're going to have a long list of various things. We can have a Doom Guy, for one thing. We can also have Arkham Knight. We can also have Genji, although I'm not sure how that one's going to work, or if it will work properly. We can also have Raiden from Revengeance, or Metal Gear Rising, rather. And there's also just like a suave business suit. Actually, I, I, I want to do like a suave businessman, just do him in like a... in a, a black suit. We could do like a... An agent or a... I'm blanking on the name. You know the one I mean. Where's this? There we go. And then... Legs. Hitman? Yeah, Hitman. That wasn't who I was thinking of. Why is this menu suddenly three times the size? There we go. That was a little strange. You know, it's, it's modding. It's prone to mistakes. So if we make his hair black, it would look a bit more apt. Bald him? Well, if I make him bald, he will be 47, I guess. But that wasn't who I was going for. Secondary armor color is a tie. Alright, I'll make him bald. Although, just I'm just going to double check which ones are here. Avatar hair. Raiden hair is basically Super Saiyan. And there's just a bunch of, like, Vindictus ones, which is just, like, some guy made them. There's some very anime haircuts in here. Alright, fine. Bald... And then secondary color on the tie is red. And then we have ourselves Agent 47. His nickname can be 47, but I don't mind giving him a first and last name of somebody in chat. John Wick was the name I was blanking on that was bothering the hell out of me. I blame the heat. Thank you for that. Christ. Oh, I can't edit his nickname until they get a certain rank. Well... How are we going to do this? The next sub and or bits to set off an alert gets to have their name, first name and last name, and or a nickname once the time comes, but keep in mind I can't change the nickname until they get to... Sergeant? I don't quite remember. Mm. Oh, well, there you go, Evil Vice President, thank you for the bits. Mm. What you want me to do is first name, last name. Mm. Hey, I was right, it was Sergeant. Nice. Ooh. Some things I do vaguely remember. There's still a couple more soldiers, keep in mind. Come on, there's no stream delay. Type, type faster for more soldiers to... Evil first name. So, Evil Leon President. <laughs> that actually fits. Evil Leon President. But he's not going to get just a bog standard voice, so I'm going to let you choose from my odd voices. Evil Vice President. Titus from mm. Space Marine. Dave Lister, mm. Arnold Rimmer, The Cat, Crichton and Holly from Red mm. Dwarf. I thought I had more, but apparently mm. I don't. They mustn't have been compatible. Ooh. Or you can pick like just a German, uh, like a German or generic European accent if you want. Thank you, not lob for the bits. You do have secondsies. You want the space marine, okay? Just so everyone can hear it. Hmm. That didn't. Mm. You can't do an alert when I'm trying to mm. let you hear a voice. Hmm. Ooh. Forward. Forward. Through here. Swiftly. Moving. Move swiftly. Forward. And carry a big gun. All right. Evil Leon President with Captain Titus' voice. 
So now, yeah, you're getting done. So next is not Lob. Someone else in chat is going to have to keep track of this for me because I'm going to lose track. The heat is already oh. melting my brain. So not Lob, do you want to be Genji? Do you want to be Tracer? Do you want to be Doom Guy? Do you want to be Arkham Knight? Or whatever these are from Arkham Knight, I don't quite know. Or Raiden? Do you have a preference? Keep in mind, if you want me to change your gender to female, some of these would not apply. Because I think they are tied to, to the gender. You want to be a Braveheart Genji. Hmm. Okay, that will look very strange hmm. if I don't change his Braveheart face. Hmm. But let's try anyway. Hmm. Ooh. And see what happens. Please don't break. Please don't break. I don't think I need to... Make him almost look like McCree with that one. No, no, no. This one is hmm. nothing. Hmm. I don't have to change the left forearm to nothing. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. There we go. Bear shoulder. We want legs. We want Genji legs. I don't know why the legs menu is so big. I don't know how to get rid of the Metal Gear left forearm. Maybe if I change that first. Go back. That's the problem with having so many mods. Uh, thank you for the bits as well, everybody. <laughs> and thank you, Fenrir's Get, for 18 mm. months in a row. We need a second Twitch baby name, and our second mm. Twitch baby name will be William Genji Wallace, mm. in that order. Because mm. there should be an option here that says nothing. Ooh. But there isn't. So you might just have to have a weird-looking left arm, unfortunately. It might also just sort itself, is the other thing. And I guess I'll keep you with the Scottish accent then. If you still want to keep the same face. <laughs> the same very horrible face. Celtic warrior face paint. Hair is fine. Um, where's the voice here? It's not even set to Scottish. Where's the Scottish one? Location confirmed. Move, move. Double time. Roger that. Got it. Solid copy. Location confirmed. Wait, that's not. There was Scottish ones, right? That didn't sound Scottish to me. I just, I just not heard it for a long time. Copy that. Move, move, will do. That's not Scottish. Will do. Running. That's definitely not. Move, move, move. Good to go. Copy that. On the move. That's Irish. All right. Well, in that case, you can be Crichton. What are some better herds? Oh, no, 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 no. You wanted Braveheart Genji. You're Braveheart Genji. So your first name is not William Wallace. It's Genji. Your surname is Wallace. But your nickname is still Braveheart. I did scroll down to see if it was listed separately. Every man dies, not every man lives. Gordon Freeman, I'm undecided about. This is another just random person. So after Not Lob, it was the Don Tombray. Do you want to be like a Doom guy or anything like that? Do you have a preference? You are going to get the Arnold Rimmer voice. We've been picking up some weird transmissions lately. It sounds a little like German, but it's hard to tell. Thank you, Valinar. You said Doom Knife. Is that what you want your name to be? I can do it. I can make you Doom Knife. In the meantime, Doom Guy with the stereotypical green. So we want arms. We want Doom Guy arms. Oh, God, those are bulky. You're not going to be a thin lad. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think the forearm mm. thing was just not oh. displaying properly. I need bare arms for that. Good God. Bulky. AS. AF, rather. Yep, you are a bulky lad. Thank you, Putliemi, for the bits. You can be next on the list in general as long as somebody is keeping track, yes. Oh god, the Genji ones don't display properly. Hey, Deadshot Mask. Deathstroke Mask. 
Arkham Knight head, kinda. Where is Doom Guy's head? Oh, there it is. Oh. Uh, I like. See well, Doom Guy, you don't see his eyes. You just see that. It's not so bad. Thank you, Felon of Light, for the bits. Or you could just hit them in the right spots. His hair isn't clipping through because the helmet is so damn bulbous, so I think it's probably fine. Weapon, your weapon's got to be green as well. I'll worry about patterns and stuff once people have lived longer in a mission. Alright, let's try and speed up. Machete, don't really need a machete. So, after... Don't Tom Break was Shadow Tempest. Do you have a preference for... Like, armor? Essentially, that's all you need to tell me. Want to be like Arkham Knight, or... I could just, like, randomize you a little bit, or Raiden. Arkham for you? Alright, that good. I wanted somebody to be Arkham Knight. So arms. Arkham arms. Legs, which looked a bit weird for some reason. Let's just gloss over that. Now, well, those are more authentic to how he looked in the game, but they're still not entirely spot on. And then head. Yeah, that's about as close as we're going to get you. Oh, do you want the name changed to, like, uh, Jason Todd? Spoilers. Jason Machete Todd. <laughs> Once you can get a nickname change, I can change it to Arkham. Because I don't think Arkham Knight would fit. So for now, let's just do that. And gun color, let's do... I don't think anyone's going to sit through this first part. It's taking a lot longer than I thought it would to customize. Right, after Shadow Tempest, it was... Commissar. Commissar, what kind of character do you want? Also, did I, actually, while you're answering, did I change your voice? No, you're Spanish. You're no longer Spanish. You... I guess you can just be generic American. Need to ask twice. On it. Getting it done. And now you said it. Slightly apt. Your nationality is United States. Okay. Shadow Tempest is still on there. Wait, what? Is Commissar next, right? Yeah. We still don't have a Raiden. We still don't have just like. A random mishmash of armors. We don't have a Raiden. Do a mishmash. Is there actually just a random button? There probably isn't, is there? Okay, but you want it to be like a big guy? Oh yeah, there's also the suit, of course, as well. Oh, what is this? Yeah, okay, I think this might be Bane. You're not going to get swoller than Bane, so let's try that. Is that Bane? He is, his, his arms seem quite large. Yeah, okay, you can be Bane. Oh yeah, that's meant to be Bane. Okay. Is there a fluorescent green that would fit him more? Well, getting a bit Joker-like now, but still. Faction heroes will worry about it when we get them. Is there a Bane mask? Oh, there totally is a Bane mask. Um, you know what? That's horrifying enough that I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's horrible. Could I also maybe do you a hat of some... No, it counts as a hat. It's okay. No, we ain't changing it. That's his that's his face. What would you like his name changed to? You're a monster, yeah, but you're gonna be tough. Let's look at those juiced arms. I mean yeah, you can kinda of see some empty space back there. What what's the matter? Big would wanna fight about it? He's just got he's a nice happy chap. I 
there in XCOM 2 base game there was a invisible heads mod that you had to have but it's not compatible with War of the Chosen so I assumed it was just kind of included come on sir I need to I need to know your name oh, so where does Bane hail from is he Mexican or is he from somewhere else Keep in mind, it's more important what your nickname will be, because that's what shows up, but we can't do that until you rank up a little bit. We already have a Crichton. Do we have a Rimmer yet? I think, did I select Rimmer already? Eh, we can go with the cat. What's Bane's real name? I have no idea. I don't remember. Could just call him Bainy McBain, yeah. Bainy McBain face. Happy go lucky? Nah, you're intense. He is Mexican. Alright, taking too long. Bainy. Oh, okay, fine. There you go. Eduardo. Is this his real name? Dorrance. El Bane. I don't want to change Zarya because I think it's a really good Zarya. I don't want to change her voice though. And make her Spanish. Enseguida. Sorry, Mr. T, but that's a no to you. So next after Commissar, I mean, I, I said to include subs, right? So it's Fenner's Get on my list that was next. Could I kind of influence you towards being Raiden? If at all possible? That might not be fast, but I'll get there in the end. <laughs> Hello, Lord Saikon. Don't worry about it, we're just modding stuff. Sure, go for it, thank you. Oh, so what would you like the name to be? First name, last name, that is. Can't change the nickname yet. Wait a minute. Body. There we go. Why can't... I know, I can't customize him as much as the other ones for some reason. Oh my god, that is horrifying. That's kind of bad too. That's kind of cool. Why is his armor options not appearing? Um, oh, you know why? Because he's using one of the default original game armors and they are not moddable. How did I change them from being that? Damn it, that's the problem. I need to get him off of the original armor, but I don't know how to do that. Hmm. Um. Anyone remember offhand? Yes, I have voice packs from the Red Dwarf crew. Change. Oh, change Tom Brady's one to Doom Knife. Getting those damn Advent burgers. But if I find another rapper stuffed under one of these command consoles, there's gonna be hell to pay. Hmm. <laughs> See, I, I can't customize his armor because he's on the wrong armor type and I don't know how to change it. He's on the pre-order stuff from the first game, so you might just have to look like that, unfortunately, because I don't know how to change it. The mask is cool, though. I like the mask. It makes you look intimidating. Thank you, Marcola, for a whole year of subscription. Oh, that's just ran out of people for now, which is a problem, unless I customize the horribleness of the other two. Which one was Don Tombury? Tombury was... was... Yeah, Boris, right? So I have to change it to Doom... What was it? Doom Knife? Doom... There's another game. 
within XCOM 2. It's not just character creation. Like that. Doom knife. No, Bradford just won't talk during games. I like this assortment of people, though. I, I don't really like Guile, and I don't really like... Gordon Freeman, I mean, who cares? Can I customize his armor? If I can customize his armor, he'll be alright, and yeah, I can. Alright, sorry, Gordon. I had other places to be. Although the Desperado armor is better. I remember that setup very well. It's that one. <laughs> Wait, is there no arms to go with this? This is this is very complicated. Okay, those are the correct arms. Left arm. There we go. Left arm desperado. Right arm desperado. That's more like it. He looks like a nerd version of Raiden. What would you like me to rename this formerly Gordon Freeman to whoever chance it was next? I think it was Hawks next. Oh wait, no, no, no. Fenrir was supposed to be Raiden. So what do you want this person renamed to? Oh, there is an invisible head. I could make Bane look normal, but I kind of don't want to. Uh, it doesn't really work with the Raiden one. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, hi, chat. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I'm Gordon Freeman. You remember me from the Half-Life. <laughs> Can we do like anime here just to oh god yeah. Oh there's actually Raiden's hair. I don't remember his hair looking like that. <laughs> well to match Raiden it's gotta be white. There we are. Hi chat <laughs> It's perfect, good. Yeah, this is how Gordon Freeman looks in Half-Life 3. Sorry, I missed if you said what you wanted the name changed to, Fenner. Monster Make No Face. Okay. That's a perfect name. Thank you. Monster Make No Face. Well, one word. No face. <clears throat> Monster Make No Face. Monster Half-Life Make No Face. Now, I don't think... Is there, like, a super posh English accent I could give him? I mean, I could just make him Lister. Which is not a posh English accent, it's a scummy English accent, but still. He's beautiful. <laughs> is that soul food? So... Wait, on your list, Valinar, you say Kitty is next? On my list it was Hawks that was after Fenrir. Or Fenris, rather. Alright, so hang on. You wanted me to make Bane's face? Let's see if it actually works. Um, apparently the invisible option is not there for him. There, I somehow made it worse by... Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. He looks like, like a Shadowrun character. I don't know why the invisible option wasn't there for him. Maybe it's only there if you're a different race? Yeah, it is. Oh, there we go, that's Bane's face. Now it works. Didn't realise Bane was white. Because he isn't. <clears throat> Hawks gave his spot to Kitty. Okay. Um, Kitty, do you want to just... Like, do you want me to just customize this lady a little bit and I'll rename her whatever you want? Her nickname will have to stay as Lollipops, though. Thank you, Regent, for gifting a subscription to Cocoa Bean. Like, I could make her look a bit more tough. I could give her, like... Oh, can I give her Doom Guy's arms? Please. Please, please, please. Oh. Uh... 
She's using the default, like, lesser armors as well, I think. That's why you can't do that. She could have a cod piece. You want her to have a cod piece? That, that gives her a bit more dignity, I feel. Sure. That looks nice. I mean... Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, that's tough. Um, I can make you tracer, but it looks a little weird unless I give you like the full tracer body. So let's see how that looks. If I give her that and then give her our, like tracer's leg, should be here. It's still kind of looking a little weird. <laughs> Why is tracer's arms not in the list? It's because they must be separate arms. Yes, they are. We don't want Raiden's arm, we want Tracer's arm. I don't think there's an All Might mod, no. Kitty, do you want to keep the face that looks like Corp from my previous playthrough, or do you actually want Tracer's face? Because I believe I can give you Tracer's face. Yes, oh god, you can turn Tracer into a smoker. Oh, I've had enough of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Regent, for gifting a subscription to Shadow Ifrit as well. You want to be Scottish? I couldn't find the Scottish voice. I don't know why I couldn't. I don't remember it being a mod that I got. I like the Tracer who's had enough of this shit, although it looks like I need to make her face invisible. Yeah, there we are. There's, there's proper Tracers just had enough of this crap. Not so sure about the color scheme, mind you. What color is her? her well, Kitty, what color armor do you want? Are you fine with pink and blue? Do you want me to change it to anything? You love it? Okay, I can leave it as pink as blue then. Let's change her name to Lena Oxton then. Lena Oxton. I think that's all the customizing I can do right now. What a ragtag bunch of misfits. Apart from Mr. T, who's kind of broken because I can't fix him. He's not as weird as I would like, and that bothers me. I don't know how to change it. Because I can't get rid of this list. Maybe if I change the arms? Oh, I can turn him into Shen? Oh, hang on a minute. What's all this then? Oh, no, that's a tattoo. Yeah, bugger. All right. Well, I think that's quite enough customizing. We have quite the little setup. Mm. Thank you, Freezing. Mm. Can you be Genji? We already have a Genji. Mm. I forget. We have Braveheart mm. Genji. Ooh. Oh, Kitty wanted to be Scottish. I can check if there's a female Scottish accent. I honestly am not sure. That's the last thing we're going to do. And then we're ending this episode and then actually playing the game. It's character info. Already there. On it. On the move. Got it. That last one sounded Scottish, hang on. Running! Double time! No need to ask twice! Eh. You go. It's, it's got like a little Already twang of there. Irish, but that's as close as we're going to get. Alright, that's going to do it for the inaugural episode for people watching after the fact. That was just, that was customization. See if we're actually playing the game next time. I did my best to get the Shut up, Bradford. Ta-da for now.